Well, the New York Special Olympics Flame of Hope has been making its way around western New York, and along with the torch, the runners are carrying memories as well. Two on your sides, Danielle Church shows us the journey and the message that they're spreading. Hello, Danielle. Hey, Scott. The Flame of Hope was in Jamestown earlier this morning and eventually made its way to Orchard Park. That was its final stop for the day. Law enforcement officers around the state carry the torch because they fundraise for Special Olympics. Orchard Park is just one of the 20 torch runs taking place in western New York through June. In many cases, each one will honor a police officer who has passed away. More than 31,000 athletes compete in the Special Olympic Games in New York State. That includes about 3,000 from our region. Orchard Park police officers carry the torch around the village, even stopping at both South Davis Elementary and Orchard Park Middle School. Make signs, they cheer us on. It's a cool, um, it just kind of it shows them what the Special Olympics is all about. It just kind of brings us closer to the community and, you know, the kids being able to see us, um, you know, doing more than just writing tickets and stuff. So being a part of a good cause. Like we keep getting more and more athlete involvement, more and more officer involvement, more and more community involvement. And it's been amazing to see throughout the years everybody coming together, being that voice and being that advocate for people with intellectual disabilities. The torch will make its final stop in Ithaca on June 24th. That will kick off New York's Special Olympic Games. They run through June 26th. And tomorrow, tomorrow there will be another torch run in Cheektowaga. That one will be a little different, though, because Cheektowaga police will also send off 25 Western New York Special Olympians who will be competing in the National Games down in Orlando from June 5th through the 12th. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.